Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like big, big, big bars, nigga, wish up on a big star. Get cars, nigga, wish up on a big star. Get guard, nigga, wish up on a big star. Young stuff, big bars, nigga, I got six cars. Riding through your motherfucking block and I'ma get it. Okay. Nigga steady texting, I ain't checked it, I ain't ready. No way. Hoes acting bummy like they fucking baby daddy. What? Run up on me. Wait, wait, oh, whoa, oh, oh, man, salute to every single one of y'all, y'all already know what it is. The riot, what's up with the, yo, the riot is wilding right now. Have y'all seen this card that the riot is putting together? Salute to the riot, you know what I'm saying, all them folks out there doing what they do. Bruh, this card is actually kind of fire. The riot came bearing gifts card, September 3rd <coughs> in Atlanta, so far. You got Rum Nitty versus A Ward. You got Chef Treads versus Swamp. And you got Clean, Kitchen Clean versus Snake Eyes so far. That's just so far. Like, do you realize that this card right here, like these three battles right here, are better than a lot of the other cards? This is better than the other card I just talked about with the URL. This is three battles right now. This is better than the other shit in the Bayou that's better than that. This card right here is fucking solid. Bro, you got three battles that niggas would look, that niggas are gonna see. Like, I'm gonna make sure I see this. Chef Trez versus Swamp, bro. Chef Trez is one of the, was one of the nicest new niggas when he first came back to um, URL. Him versus JC, uh, him versus like he battled Ch he battled mad niggas when he first he battled Loso, and then he battled Ryder. Like Chef Trez was one of those guys that was gonna be a star in the URL. But things went left and just like if you ask me this is just from my outside perspective um chef trez is marches to the beat of his own drum he's not the guy that's going to be put on a contract and told that you're going to only battle on this league on these cards when i say so you're going to have app lives matter like this is all you're going to do and that's just the end of it like chef trez is going to say nah fuck that i'm going to do what i want to do and i respect it because at the end of the day you're only as good as your last kill. So in battle rap, if you do good in one battle and you do bad in another one or you lose a couple battles in a row, now you're sitting on the bench, you can't battle all the leagues. I never respected that you're gonna be here and do nothing else type shit. So I always respected Chef Trev for taking his career in his own hand. Swamp, on the other hand, is a nice, thoroughbred. I've been telling niggas about Swamp. I was telling niggas about Swamp when it was unpopular to tell niggas about Swamp. Like when I was like, when Swamp battled Twerk, I said Swamp deserves more than having a battle with an MC is choking and stumbling. Then when Swamp uh, got the Dot battle, I said Swamp deserves better names than Dot. Like, this is not no disrespect to Dot. Y'all seen the blog that I did on him and Dot hit me up to try to bet me 200 that he was going to beat Swamp. I knew he wasn't going to beat Swamp, but I didn't expect him to pay because I knew he wasn't going to win. That nigga don't rap about I'm not even going to go in on him today, but he's not good. So I knew he wasn't going to win. Swamp beat him 3-0. And, and then with, the thing is... If I shoot you, I'm brainless, but if you shoot me, you famous. Swamp beats him 3-0, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even scratch the surface because you're gonna keep booking the other MC. That's why I said Swamp deserves better. And he's getting better from the right. Him versus Chef Trez is a fire-ass battle. URL could have booked that, but why are they not gonna book that? Because they don't, you know what I'm saying? Once Chef Trez do what he do, and he's uncontrollable, it's like we're not gonna, they don't love, they like the niggas that get in line, that do what they say. Like, yeah, you're gonna do what I say. You know, you're gonna do what I, like, nah. Fuck that, I'm out here, I want a battle. So, I love this battle. Uh, Chef Trez versus Swamp. Whew, oh man. I got a slight edge, slight, slight, slight edge for Trez in Atlanta. Swamp is from the South too, but Trez rebuttals very well. He, he, I just saw him versus Thesaurus the other day. Uh, he's still in that bag. But this is gonna be, this is going to be a fire battle. Do not sleep on Trez versus Swamp. You can't sleep on that because Swamp could easily come in there and win that in Atlanta. He gets mad love in the South. They fuck with Swamp heavy in the South. So please don't sleep on him for one second. He can definitely win this battle. Uh, both are very talented MCs and I love the direction that they're going in. Uh, next, Rum Nitty versus A Ward. Bro, A Ward just battled Kitchen Clean and won. I don't give a fuck if you want to say 2 0, 2 1, 3 0, it don't matter. A Ward won. 
A-Ward has been beating so many top tiers. I said the other day, by the time A-Ward gets to URL, if he ever gets there, it's going to be like WrestleMania 31 where Sting fought Triple H. And they were like, like NWO comes out. Come on, y'all niggas some wrestling fans. Come on, son. Y'all niggas know I'm mad brolic, son. I've been watching. I don't fuck with wrestling and shit. Sting fights Triple H. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they passed their prime. And then NWO comes out. And Shawn Mike. Come on, y'all niggas. Come on, son. Y'all niggas know what the fuck is. Don't play with me today, son. I don't got time for this shit. Um, and the only reason why it was not on URL is because of politics. It's literally because of politics. Because that controlling narrative again. I have to control you. I have to get. You can't eat unless I tell you to eat. And A-Word is showing you that you can eat without. I don't have to eat with you. I can eat on my own. And I respect that. Because that's the type of shit that I do. Like I don't want to line up with no battle rap leagues. I just want to do my own thing. My own views on my own channel with Showtime SP. I'll pay him to do his thing. And that's it. But when you get involved and it's like you rub shoulders. You got to be political. You can't say this shit was whack. This event was not good. You can't say that type of shit. I can't. This event was trash. Put it in rice. I ain't fucking with it. Because guess what? Nobody could do nothing to me. They can't. If they could, they would. They tried. It didn't happen. So um, I respect A Ward's hustle. I do. I do respect his hustle. Rum Nitty is a fucking alien. And I see A Ward poking, you know what I'm saying? Like he's talking shit. So Rum Nitty had tweeted, I'ma smoke A Ward's boots. And then A Ward replied on the Twitter shit with uh, I'ma smoke your DeAndre Jordans. Cause you know Rum Nitty had those uh flea market vibes on and shit, you know what I mean? And niggas clowned him for that for a while, but you know, he's bounced back since that. He's done mad well. He won a tournament and all that, and I think out of all A Ward's battles that he's had, and he's had a lot, over 60, this right here is probably going to be the toughest competition and the toughest battle that he's had because Rum Nitty scores points at a high level. What? Oh my goodness, man. I'm telling you, man, you're going to see. You're going to see. And once, and once Rum Nitty and the name flips, the name flips, oh my goodness. Hey, hey, full clip, do shit. I'll fuck up A Ward like Reggie Bush did. Like, come on, son. This nigga, like, yo, this nigga, A Ward, Reggie Bush did fuck that award up at the Heisman, you know what I'm saying? But Red, Rum Nitty got name flips and shit like that. And, um,. A Ward's man nice too though. He got bars, he got punches, he got freestyle, he got rebuttals and shit. He gonna need the best shit of his life. Um, but I would not pick against Rum Nitty. I don't think I, I don't know when the last time I picked against Rum Nitty. I got Rum Nitty winning the battle 2-1. Uh, a Ward is very hard to beat. I usually always go with uh, A Ward because he's short money. You know what I'm saying? Like if he was doing like FanDuel, like A Ward is like the fucking Los Angeles Dodgers. That nigga's like sure money. He's not like the Yankees. You bet on them niggas, you're gonna lose. I don't even bet on them niggas no more. I stop fucking with them because they lose like every night. But A Ward is like guaranteed money. He's like the Houston Astros or like some shit like that. Like, you bet on him, you're more than likely gonna win. So uh that's a tough, that's a tough, 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 tough pick to pick against the A Ward. But uh Rum Nitty is like the punches, they just back to back to back to back. A Ward could punch at a high level too, but nobody in the world punches better than Rum Nitty. I don't give a fuck who it is. Um, but I look forward to that one. Clean paper versus snake eyes. I keep saying it's kitchen clean. Kitchen clean versus snake eyes. Uh, that's going to be an interesting battle. It's all going to depend, honestly, if kitchen clean has three full rounds and he's if, if he has three rounds because he just battled Ward and like his second round was like short as hell. And I don't rem personally remember kitchen clean battling this frequently like he battled Geechee a couple months ago he just battled a ward and now next the beginning of the next month he's taking um snake eyes kitchen clean has the charisma and the ability and the you know what i'm saying like he he has everything it takes all of the intangibles he has to take like the jokes he can crack you know what i'm saying he can crack all types of jokes and then they'll hit and they'll land uh if we get the kitchen clean that we saw against Geechee, he's probably gonna win um, Snake Eyes is just way more consistent though, you know what I'm saying? Like he don't choke, he don't stumble, like his material may be so, at the, him versus Twerk, he was really good versus Twerk and he's been good in some other battles. Sometimes his material is a little ah, but overall, you know, he's got a lot more 
like he talks shit, his charisma's there. And he's built his brand from the ground up, you know what I'm saying? He was on URL, he left URL, he did here, did that. And now he's doing this thing, he's gonna be on the riot, but this card overall, it's a very, very good card. Like, this is a really nice card. And I think that uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what other battles is on it. Is Geechee gonna be on the card? You know Geechee's on every fucking card. Geechee, there's not a card that Geechee ain't on, so Geechee got to be on this shit. Who you battling, Geechee? Who you, who you got? You got you might come on out. He might as well announce his battle, because this nigga's on every fucking card. Matter of fact, he battling Rosenberg on another card. I'm gonna talk about that shit in a few minutes. This nigga's on every fucking card. There's nothing wrong with that. That nigga's getting bread. He battled disaster like yesterday. I'm sure he's gotta battle Danny Myers tomorrow. And I'm sure he's got beat out on fucking next Tuesday. So he battled every week. But uh, um, I like the card. Salute to the riot, man. Dope ass card. Dope ass moves. I hope y'all niggas continue to build, continue to grind, continue to do what the fuck y'all do. And you niggas already know what it is. Gang, gang. Let's go. Big bars, nigga. Wish up on a big star. Get cars, nigga. Wish up on a big star. Get guard, nigga. Wish up on a big star. Young stuff, big bars, nigga. I got six bars. Riding through your motherfucking block, and I'ma get it.